Hey everybody, I'm Sharon Brewer. And I'm Lindsay Blackstock. And we're faculty members in chemistry and you'll be starting classes here in a week. We just wanted to welcome everyone and give you a really casual vlog style tour of the science building to let you know what to expect when you come here next week. And we're looking forward to seeing you. Hi everyone, Editing Lindsay here. I have a map of the TRU campus on screen. Notice you can get there yourself at tru.ca slash map.html. And where we are as we go through this tour, I will point you out on the map just in case you're not familiar. So here we have the campus map. I'm going to zoom in. We're starting at the Ken Lepin Science and Health Sciences Building. And we are going to be starting our tour at the back of the building here. And this is the parking lot directly above the science building and our older residences are right up there which also has a parking lot that you might be parking in and we're at the entrance that comes down from there yeah so just on the other side behind us if i flip around this way entrance number four of the ken lepin science building so you will recognize it if you see this lovely periodic picnic table Come on in, make sure you have your mask on because TRU and Interior Health, we are wearing masks in all of our public buildings. There is the science offices down this hallway and we will come down the stairs and we will show you the other entrance to the science building. Hey everybody, now we're at that entrance that we just walked down the stairs to see. So to catch you up, all we've done is we started at the back of the science building here and we've walked down the stairs through the science building to the front entrance. Now I'm going to do my best to guide you along on the map as we talk about different items on campus. So you will be able to find this entrance down the walking street on campus. Here's the new nursing building. We have the Scratch Cafe and Culinary Arts. And if you continue down this pathway, you have the gymnasium. And if you keep going, you'll end up at the House of Learning Library and beyond that, um, straight in front of you is gonna be the Campus Activity Center and the Arts and Education Building. And you will have passed on your right, Old Main, as well as our International Building. So come on in the science building and we'll give you a quick guide on how to get to the labs in the different classrooms. All right, so we're back in the science building and if you ever need to find your way back to a starting point, you can look for this planter, which is again by the offices and the main entrance. So just a little bit more orientation to the building. We have the main lecture hall, S203. The math help center is behind this lecture hall, S201. There are convenient signs if you find yourself needing some assistance to get around. And there are faculty offices throughout the building. So on all three floors, you can look for offices. Okay, so we're heading down the hall. We're gonna see some of the chemistry labs, but just so you know, there are a couple of student study rooms. This is one of them, 230A. So that'll be open and it'll have a sign on it. We also have some computer classrooms on the right, as well as geology on the left. And then we start getting into the area where we have our chemistry and physics lab. If you're doing a course in either um, second year third year, fourth year analytical chemistry or physical chemistry, you'll be doing your labs in here. Oh, look at somebody wearing a full PPE. Really important, as Lindsay just pointed out, that we have our PPE, which means our lab coat, our safety glasses and all that on before we go into lab. We're ready to go in. All right, let's go on in to 237. And then just so you know, there'll be different courses. Those of you who are taking second year analytical in the fall will be in this room for your labs. And we wanted to make sure that you'd seen the room because you didn't get to be on campus last year. And so there'll be various types of equipment that'll be set out when you come in here. And for some of the labs, you'll mainly work on the bench. For other labs, you're gonna use some of our instrumentation. 
and your instructors will be here to help you with that. And we also have pole cue hood set along the other wall. Just behind me here. All right, so this is lab 261. If you're in first year, this is going to be one of the two labs you might be in. So come on in and I'll show you what this lab looks like. So here we have one of the first year labs. You can see there are two long benches that you'll be on either side of and there are 20 students in each lab section. So let's just continue on down the second floor hallway. On the right hand side, we have some physics labs and we will just be going to S269, which is the other first year lab. All right, so if you're curious, if you're in S269, it's a slightly different layout, but again, two long benches, five students on each side, 20 students in each section. All right, so now we are at the end of the hallway of the second floor, and this is lab S273. So if you're in organic chemistry, this is where you're gonna head to for your labs. You'll recognize this lab because there are sets of lockers outside and it is on the closest end to this entrance, which we'll show you later on. So here's a quick look in S273. And once you're in third year, you can do either organic labs or inorganic labs in this room. So here's another bigger student study room and it has a number of computers in it and a printer as well as common um, tables in the middle, so another good place to know about. There's a final physics lab down here. And here we are outside. So at this Bean Me Up Cafe entrance, you will recognize it because it is right by the gymnasium and you can access it from the entrance right by the TCC or Tournament Capital Center. Okay, so hopefully this quick video tour helped you feel a little more confident in finding your way around the science building on the first day of classes, which is in one week on Wednesday, September the 8th. But if you still would like another opportunity to find your way around, I invite you all to come to orientation, which is on Tuesday next week, September the 7th. You can come to the TRU website under the current students tab, then under orientation, find out more details about about orientation on campus and if you scroll down to the schedule you'll find here that you can come to the science building to meet different members of the faculty of science at 11 a.m. so I'll be there Sharon and a bunch of other faculty from chemistry biology physics we hope to see you there